Do you remember your, your first point here with the program? What can you recall about that? Uh, yeah, I, I remember because my mom always brings it up. It was when we were playing Shriner. I think I had 18 points. Um, I just remember at the first game, I was I was sitting at the edge of my seat, and I was like, I wonder if I'm going to play. I wonder if I'm going to play. And then you know, Coach Tibble called my name, and I was just I just so happened to be ready to go. And uh, I think I made a pretty good impact. Um, and it's just been a roller coaster ride ever since. Well, the thing about Shante, and, and you got to give credit to the former staff. You know, they're the ones who signed her early, uh, Denny and his staff. So you got to give them credit on recognizing talent. And this is a success story because uh, I was recruiting her at Lamar. And to be honest with you, everything wasn't in line with NCAA academics. And I went up and met the family. And uh, after I met the family and met her, I knew immediately that she's what I wanted to come down here and, and not only lead my team, but eventually be the face of my team, which she's done so. We got together, got a game plan and uh, she finished strong at Copper's Cove, and now she's a 3.2 student. I mean, that's a success story. She came down and got focused, and got focused on her game. Her freshman year, uh, after three games, after watching video, I said, what is she sitting on the bench for? And so I put her in the lineup uh, three games into the freshman season, and she started every game since unless she was injured. And uh, she brings it to the games each and every day. And you gotta appreciate that. I had uh, no idea that I was gonna do that until I think I scored my thousand uh, point and it, it kept being brought up. And even when I scored my thousand point, I wasn't, I didn't even know that I was gonna do that until like the two or three games before I think either Coach Hannah or my mom told me, hey, you know, this is about to happen and you could break the record next year. And I was just like, oh, and then I went and looked at it myself and I was just like, oh, wow, that's really cool. I had no idea because, you know, I'm, I'm really focused on winning. You know, we've lost two times in the WAC championship and I've just been focusing on how the next time we go to the championship game, we can beat them. And I wasn't putting pressure on myself. You know, I knew that scoring happens naturally for me, so I knew it would happen. So I wasn't trying to do it immediately. You know, I was just trying to get a really good shot. I think the first shot I hit was a uh, three. And that one didn't go in, and I think my second shot was the pull-up jumper, and I was just, you know, flowing through the game. And when I hit the shot, I didn't feel any different, you know. I was, I guess, I was just because I was focused on the game. We were playing a really good school, Abilene Christian, and I was really focused on trying to, uh, trying to w beat them however way we could, um, and we fell short, you know, unfortunately. But it was a great experience. I've had uh, 39 young ladies go to the pros from uh, young ladies I've coached and recruited. And if I had to pick a top five of all time of the kids that I've had on my teams, she would be in the top five. She's uh, consistent all over the floor. She'll play both ends of the floor. She can get steals, she can get blocks, she can get to the rim, she can hit mid-range, she can hit a three-pointer. She's hard to guard. People try to push her to the left, and that's fine, because she'll stop, pop on the left, like she did the other night. Her length, her speed, her athleticism, she doesn't mind giving credit to her teammates. She has a lot of assists. She'll be in our top 10 on assists. She'll be in our top 10 on steals. Uh, she'll be close at rebounding. Uh, block shots, believe it or not. I mean, she she's, uh, can get a lot of things done, but going to the line, free throws made. I mean, you name it. Three points made. I mean, she's gonna, she's gonna set a lot of records at this university. And, She's not only going to break, but she's not only broke the scoring record, she's going to shatter it. It feels good, but you know, I wouldn't say years to come because you never know somebody else, Till, Coach Tillwell does a good job recruiting, he might bring somebody else in that might smash the record. But as of now, you know, the record stands for me and it's pretty cool to leave my, uh, my mark on the school, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm just happy to know that I was able to make this program really special and I was, I was a part of doing something really big that's never been done here before in the Valley. Um, and I, we just look to continue to grow.